Hey, hey guys. Uh, another another viral viral hit, if you will, from uh, Taking Back Nerdum, one half of uh, Adam and Kevin. This is Kevin. Um, kind of wanted to give a quick synopsis, quick little uh, thoughts on um, Fear Street. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a three part. It's a three part movie. It's, well, it's three movies, but it's like part one, part two, part three on Netflix. Had a chance to look at it. Um, it was it was decent. It wasn't it wasn't super horrible. It wasn't wasn't fantastic, but I, I, it was decent. It was entertaining. Um, for those of you who like horror movies, you'll definitely see a lot of uh, a lot of um, well, I don't like you know drawback sense. I was looking for the word and I can't really think of it. Um, maybe montages is a word. Maybe one of y'all can help me on that one. It'll probably come to me after I make this video. It happens to me a lot. It's like, whoa, man, why didn't I say this while I was in the video? But, um, it's, it, without getting into too big of spoilers, it's, it's got a setup. It starts in like the, I want to say the late 80s, late eighties, early 90 area. And it involves, you know, some suspense, some uh, supernatural elements. Um, it involves mainly brother and sister and some things going on and them getting kind of pulled into it it also has kind of a, a an idea about two separate communities you know like one is sunny side and shady side i'm thinking that could be wrong on that one too um and it's kind of like what's really what i think was really cool about it and i'm not gonna throw a bunch of details out there because there is like a little bit of a twist at the end um, and I thought that was cool. And uh, the references throughout the, the movies um, are pretty cool. They hark back to other slasher type horror movies. I mean, you, you definitely see um, in the first movie, which this is not some big spoiler, The Mall. To me, that kind of reminisced of, uh, of the, the Evil Dead movie, you know, where they were in the mall. A um, couple of the thing, people you see that are, that are slashers or killers remind you of 80s horror people 90s horror people you know around that area um but what, what, what's really unique that i think you'll find unique and they've done it before in movies but not a whole lot is the first part's in the 80s 90s area right and then the second kind of goes back in the 70s and then the third i think is like 16 something and what's really cool about it it doesn't act like normal prequels you know a prequel normally you see a movie and then like, oh, they like this, so they want more content. So we're gonna show you how this character become this, or this became that, or this happened this. They do that a little bit, but what's cool is, instead of it being more center-based on telling you something about a particular thing in one movie, it actually like is relevant to the previous movie. So when you're watching the, 80, the 80s one, when you jump to the 70s, it gives details that fit in in the 80s that you're like, why is this happening or, or why did this come to be? So, and then when you get to the last one, not only does it give fluff to the other two movies previously, it loops back around to the first movie. So the way they did it, it doesn't really act completely like your generic prequels do. And I'm not saying it doesn't act like a prequel at all, but it does can seem to have like a little cool little element to it how it feeds in to where you're not just watching a prequel you're watching things that are relevant to what's going on to the current events of the story you know in the original movie because the current stories is like relevant throughout the rest of the movies so i thought that was unique and cool and there you know for people out here listening to this that have kids there is some graphic scenes in this stuff i'm going to warn you um, but it's not the greatest horror, horror movies or suspense, but it is, it's decent for what it is. I just wish they'd go back to releasing these things on Halloween or in October. I always thought it was cool when they did that. Seems to be a trend they're moving away from and let me know in the comments below if you think, like I think, like they should release it during the season to give more flavor. Cause I'm a fall guy, I like fall, I like, I like October, but, uh, then were my journalistic thoughts guys. Again, check out our Facebook page. Check out our YouTube page. Thanks for looking at our other vi my viral feeds that I've dropped. Uh, continue to 
treat everybody respect love one another you know continue to keep you know keep going enjoy all the entertainment you can if there's any shows you want me to respond to or you want adam to respond to let us know again we're going to have our shows again soon we're just there's some scheduling things going on we'll get it worked out and uh y'all take it easy guys and i'll holler at y'all later and uh, hey the words of my own boy adam help us take back nerdum <laughs>